Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And it's time for tip and trick number 34. Now, this one was suggested to me by a subscriber. And it makes sense to me to work. So, I'm, I'm going to pass the information on. So, I have done a video... I did tip and trick number, which one was it? Tip and trick number 31 was about laying a double-sided tape canvas flat and how to get it to lie flat to then store it because quite often they come rolled and sometimes tightly rolled. I've also done tip and trick um, number 32 was about working with a big double-sided tape painting um, and actually it's better to keep that rolled to prevent bubbles and I actually cut, I have a double sided tape canvas, in fact I have a couple that are constantly in and out because they're one of my big mammoth projects and I've actually cut strips into it to sort of help the canvas or the painting to breathe a little bit and prevent bubbles but what you can find sometimes on these big ones is that they can also get bubbles um, that were not there originally because I've done unboxings on these and there is some rivers especially in the top here I'm not sure if you can see them if I shine the light it shines on them there is some rivers in this even though this was flattened as soon as I've got it. Now, there are ways to work with, with these rivers when you come across them, but this tip and trick was um, mentioned to me to prevent them from happening. So when you first get your canvas, so when it doesn't have the bubbles, actually still take off your paper and replace them with either cover sheets, which is what I happen to have to hand, or I think it's parchment paper. Oh, I might actually get this to fit exactly if I'm careful. This is actually gonna fit three across, which will be nice. I'm overlapping them just a little bit but I'm not overlapping them too much, only because I want them to reach the end and be a nice, there we go, is to replace them with cover paper, or I'm pretty sure she said parchment paper, it needs to be non-stick, preferably non-stick on both sides, and that will allow the double-sided tape, the sticky part that is down, it will allow it to move a little bit freer and will prevent you getting rivers and things in your paintings. It may involve investing in a bit more cover paper, um, especially if you have a big stash and therefore you need to add quite a few cover sheets to paintings you're not yet doing. But if it prevents you from having to deal with rivers and bubbles and things like that then it might be worth the investment so I'm gonna keep that one off there because say I do know that it's got them I'm gonna move my sticker that tells me where that's from and I'm gonna leave that hung up with this because in effect it will allow it to to move a little bit more freely because it's only pinned in that small section. And it'd be very interesting to see if any more bubbles have formed by the time I get to this painting, whenever the app decides that I'm gonna be working on it. And maybe it will have improved some of the rivers and bubbles that are already there. We never know. Let's say there's a few, but there's not, there's not too many um, it's it's not got to the point that it you know it's not workable, but I'm happy to give that a go and see how that painting works hung up like that, and just ditch this cover 
that restricts the movement of the painting and just get rid of that altogether. So yeah, if you find that you have a problem with double-sided tape paintings, getting bubbles, try putting some cover paper on as soon as you get it um, and see if that allows the painting to just be a little bit freer and prevent bubbles for you. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.